Today we're in Mountainside, New Jersey, and I'm walking through Wachung Reservation, which is a beautiful 2,000-acre uh, preserve. We're located on the eastern edge of the town, just below Summit to the north, Springfield to the north as well, Westfield to the east, Berkeley Heights to the south. So we're right in between a few uh, other neighborhoods that I'll be talking about on the channel. You can check out videos on those. But there's lots of things to do here. There's horseback riding, there's hiking trails, there's a lake. Um, right now I'm in what's called the Loop, which has a playground, a big gazebo. Lots of um, community events happen here um, throughout the year. It's going to be beautiful coming in a few weeks. We're going to hit fall, so there'll be some beautiful colors around here. Uh, definitely something you're going to want to check out if you're considering Mountainside, New Jersey. Today we're going to do a tour of Mountainside, show you some of the various places that are available to you in the town. A little bit of a downtown, Route 22, and Echo Park. We're going to end the tour at Echo Park and show you what's over there. That's on the eastern edge of the town. So let's get into it and talk a little bit about Mountainside. So if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. So I just left the Trailside Nature and Science Center. This is right off the loop area where I was just showing you um, in Watch On Reservation. They've got really cool exhibits for kids in there and um, different activities so you can take the kids over on the weekend, all different things. Obviously it's for adults as well. They have lots of trails like I said. This is the sensory trail and it, it links up with the park. So lots of cool things to do over here in Mountainside. Now the town itself is about 7,000 people, a little bit more than 7,000 people. Um, it's not actually a Midtown Direct suburb. I am fibbing a little bit there, but it's in between Summit and Westfield train stations, which are about a five minute drive either way, depending on which part of town. So you could jump over to those train stations, park, and then get on. So from Summit, it would be about 45 minutes, as you know from other videos that I've posted. And from Westfield, it would be about 55 minutes. So again, depending on where you are in town and what your drive is in either direction, you might want to choose either of those trains. So let's go over to the downtown area and check that out and show you what's there. It's a very small downtown, only a couple blocks, but it's really quaint. And then on the other side of that, you've got Echo Park, which we can check out. And then the downtown community center has, which is across the street from Echo Park, I should say, um, that has um, tennis and a pool. I'm in the gazebo right now. Right behind me, they've got this really cool sensory. So you've got sight, touch, and smell but really nice activities uh, to teach kids different things. They've got some drums here and uh, yeah. So let's head over there and check it out. Hey, so I took a little detour. I'm actually just on the outside of Mountainside. I'm in Berkeley Heights, uh, still in Wachung Reservation and I stumbled onto the deserted village that I wanted to show you guys. So the older buildings in town were built in the 1700s. That was Feltsville. Um, this is actually part of Glenside Resort. Uh, it was built in the late 1800s to house the, the carriages and so on. And now they've restored it and it, you can have events here and so on. So really cool stuff down here in Wachung Reservation at the Deserted Village. Let's go check out some more. We're on our way over to the downtown, but I thought I'd just stop at the community center to give you a quick tour around. They've got four tennis courts here, really nice to get out and play some tennis. There's a softball field and then the community pool is right behind me. Uh, and they've got a really cool water park that looks like it's got some twists and turns in there. So um, this is right in the center. It's on the other side of Echo Lake, which we're going to check out at the end of the tour. But I wanted to give you a little tease of what's here. So while I'm walking back to my car, let's talk about uh, schools here in Mountainside. There's two schools. One's a primary school that's pre-K through second grade. And then the other school is an elementary school slash middle school that goes from third grade to eighth grade. After that, um, because it's such a small town, they share high school with Berkeley Heights. So that's um, Governor Livingston High School in Berkeley Heights, just down the street. So it's not a big town, there's only 7,000 people. Um, so they do have that shared situation on the schools. 
but overall it's rated A minus, I think, for the district. And I think it's an A for Governor Livingston High School. That's again, that's niche.com if you wanna dig into those reviews a little bit more. And those are not my views, those are just what they're reporting based on their subjectivity. So without further ado, let's check out Little Downtown. So I've just arrived here at the Little Downtown on the east side of Mountainside. Uh, we're just on the border of Westfield. And you've got some cool little um, old mom and pop shops, Mozzielas, um, there's a florist here. And um, I think there's a Japanese sushi bar here. It's really just two kind of buildings. It's, it's not your more commercial stuff like you're gonna see on Route 22. Um, it's more like family owned businesses. So here's the sushi shop. And then on this side, you've got a really nice furniture store that they do restorations and so on. You got the auto repair, uh, Valley Bank, and then there's a hair salon and just across from that other area that had the Japanese uh, and the Italian market. Little uh, spa area, cleaners. So this is kind of like your little mom and pop sh strip, probably from like the early 1900s, like 1920s and so on. Uh, the Bake Zone, uh, Mountainside Deli, and then there's a nice bar down here called Public House. Like I said, we're right on the eastern edge of Mountainside. Um, if we go that way, we're going towards Route 22 where you're gonna have all your commercial, it's really where you're probably gonna do your day-to-day -day shopping. They've got like the bigger stores. It sort of spans between Springfield and Mountainside. You've got Target over there, basically everything, Home Depot, Walmart, everything. So this area, you're probably not gonna be here every day, but it's, it's a cute little section to drive down and um, grab a sandwich, do your hair, that kind of thing. So, Mountainside's little downtown area. So let's head over to Echo Park. So now we're down at Echo Lake Park in Mountainside, New Jersey, continuing on our tour. There was a really fantastic farmer's stand right as you enter in there. Um, if you're on your way over here to Echo Park to take a look, you should probably check that out. They've got some really nice selection of, it is fall now, so they've got pumpkins, mums, uh, different stuff like that. To, to take a look at. Um, so here we are in Echo Lake Park, and I thought we'd finish our tour here today, talk about real estate here in Mountainside. So the average home price in the last 12 months of sales is just around 800,000. The breakdown, if you look at, you know, like five beds, four beds, three beds, ranges from just above a million to all the way down to, I believe, um, like 600,000 currently on the market. Um, again, that's, like a lot of these towns, they're, they are older stocks of homes. So some of those are gonna be fixed up, some of those are gonna be in need of some work, some light repair, all the way to maybe some full repair. Um, there is a really cool townhouse development actually just down the road from here. Um, those are starting out around 999, I think. And then some of those are tearing up to like 1.1 million. Um, but those are gonna be brand new construction. So those definitely, be on the lookout for those um, in the coming months. They're, they're just in the middle of building that right now. But overall, yeah, we're looking at like for a five bedroom plus, you're looking at over a million for sure, uh, like 1.3 million right now. Um, four bedrooms, you're in the like mid to high 700s and three bedrooms, you're in the low 700s. Um, not a ton of stock, it is a small town, but overall really cool amenities here in town. And here at Echo Lake Park, you've got a playground behind me you're on the lake here and you've got some paddle boats I could do fishing and on the other side it's kind of a long skinny park that runs on the eastern edge of the um, of the town and on the other side sort of the north part of the park you've got like ball fields and that kind of stuff for like uh, different sporting events so really cool um, amenity here to have in town and something nice to take advantage of look if you're interested in checking out more about mountainside get in touch with us we'd love to give you a private tour in the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.